little bicep action, but you threw a twist into this. What did I do? You said you wanted to work solely on the, well, you didn't say solely, but you want to work on the peak. I do want to work on that peak. All right, so we're going to try something different today. Okay. We're going to shock the body. We are going to only do preacher exercises. Wait a minute, I don't know if that's even illegal. It's not. Can't, I mean, can't I, we, it's illegal in like 13 different countries. Yeah. So. We're gonna sneak it in though. Uh, we're gonna start out with some close grip preachers to start with, then we're gonna go to some single arm preachers, and then finish out Perfect. with a machine. Let's do it. Um, and the point here is to completely isolate the bicep and work on that peak. Come on. Woo. You gotta get that, that round peak. So you see this now? Wait 30 minutes and watch what it looks like. Yeah. Gotta go back and watch the tricep workout. These guys devoured it. For you guys at home, a couple different ways to do preachers. You can sit back on it, or you can go forward on it. To sit back is gonna be power, and it's our first exercise, so I agree with your form. How you're sitting back on it, and really get the heavy weight on it. Watch both of their forms. They're sitting back on it. Uh, for me, I'm gonna come up and over, and elongate the arm, which is uh, it's different, it's more of a, isolation movement instead of a size builder. So watch how they're doing it because they're going to put on that big mass and that big peak. Look at this. Look at this. Woo -hoo -hoo. Get this. Nice. Come on. Two. Get it. Ready to hand him 70. 70. Go, 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 go. Take it. Drop it. Drop that, 70, go. So we're gonna do a drop set. Again, as these guys are both crushing it on triceps. Let's go. Here's a big part, and you won't, gotta go back and watch the tricep workout. These guys devoured it. 15 to 20 reps and sets. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. I love it because it reminds me of me at their age, where there's, uh, it's, there's there's no off button. You just you just go. You just go crazy. You go in. You have fun, um, but you go until the other guys quit. And that's a fun little thing. So we are now on our second preacher exercise. We're going to dumbbells, um, but we rotated the shoulder over, so you're really giving up the arm. And you were saying, activation? Oh yeah, it's just really concentrated when you open up. It puts everything on the bicep, all the tension. I don't have any other muscles that are trying to creep in and help me out, so it's all, it's all isolated. When you, when you feel this, when you really feel it, you'll feel those arms just explode. And so this set, relative to my first set, or first exercise, this set really opened it up and forced that blood into it, just because of the extension, that overextension and range of motion gets that more blood into the arms. And then you start looking like this. These freaks. I mean, look at these road maps. It's taking the 405 to the 101. That was a little accident off the 101, though. <laughs> Ventura come down the highway. So somebody was just asking this, uh, as a teenager when I was put on on my size, I was in a surplus. He was asking, was I always in a surplus? 
the majority of the time I was. And it wasn't just like a thousand calories in or two thousand. I was eating. Um, I was eating a good two, three thousand calories above my base. Uh, and again, I was trained since I was nine, ten years old. By 13, 14, I was competing. And I would compete once a year, twice a year. But I'd also compete in powerlifting during that time. So the calories was huge. It was, it was ginormous. Um, and I noticed today you guys, you guys eat like bodybuilders. Do you ever notice that? Do you guys eat like bodybuilders? Oh, yeah, we are bodybuilders. You are, but you also eat real clean throughout the year. I notice that. So, so. Is that social media pressure? Or is that what you guys understand at this stage? Because I know that for both of you, you're good looking guys and so you have other opportunities. And you don't want to put on that 30 or 40 pounds. So your ideas of, of getting that exercise, how do you do that? Look, honestly, I had a eating disorder. Okay. So eating very dirty is just impossible for me. What about high calories, not dirty? High calories is fine, um, but not more than 1,000 plus yeah, in my surplus. So I'm just trying to keep it in moderation, eating what's necessary and not just you know, going insane. Right. Yeah. How about you? Me? Uh, I honestly don't even count my calories. I don't count anything. I, I go off how I'm feeling, how I look. Uh, if I look like I'm making progress, I'm going to keep doing exactly what I'm doing. Um, I eat protein. I, I know around how much protein I'm getting every meal. I round it off and, and so I just need to get my protein count to equal my body weight. So if I weigh 200 pounds, I need to get 200 grams of protein uh, at least a day. So you go a lot of uh, how you feel and how you look, yeah. which I which I love because it's teaching you something that most people can't do. Because most people are are numbers people. Right. Uh, hey, what's the scale say? What is uh, uh what does my strength say? Um, I got to get my max. Where you go off of how you feel about uh, food. Um, uh, how the clothes are fitting or how you visually look or what the workout is that day which is so in tune to who you are and your body that's a that's a great thing to do right and it, it's uh for me i i think that when you pay attention too much to the numbers it kind of psychs you out so i used to look at the scale all the time oh how much am i weighing this morning oh i gained a pound fantastic but i still look like like booty you know like not where i want to be and so, you know, I'll be like, oh, I, I got up to two, 210 today, like this, this month or whatever. Uh, but my body fat is up. So, I'm, so there's something wrong, you know, but then I bring it down. I just stop looking at the scale because it throws me off. I want to look good. I'm looking bigger. I'm looking leaner. So, you know, it's all, it's all coming up and I, I feel like I'm doing the right things. So. You guys both have a head start on this business, um, 19 and 22. You guys are in it. Uh, you also put yourselves around some elite people. Um, and then also, you guys, you, you take information from people, but it doesn't govern what you believe, which I like. You're young, but you're still kind of discovering yourselves and going, okay, this is great information, I'll try it, but it's not gonna be my rules. And you come up with your own rules, and I love that you guys do that. At such a young age, you guys are really establishing something big. I'm proud of both of you, man. Thanks. Proud of both of you. We're, we're, we're trying to kill it. I mean, you didn't pop the top like Jeffrey would, but you know, or Serge, but you know, let's finish up this bicep workout. We got one more exercise to do. Popping the top. Get this. Get this. You see this part here? Yep. Yeah. On the right one, it's stronger. Yeah. So you can kind of see that the, the uh, front delt's good, but it's overpowering the side delt and yeah. the rear delt. So right now, my shoulder workout could be only, only rear delt and side delt. 
at this stage. There you go, there you go. It's coming, it's coming. Back double bye. Looks good, looks good, great. It's good, it's good. So bicep feel great. Uh, I finished off pretty early. These guys did a nice little uh, drop set. How'd you like that? Oh, it was great. I love drop sets. Now this Always is the best. Today was maybe about half the work that you guys normally do. Yeah. In terms of uh, sets and reps. Sets and reps. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. How you feel? I feel pumped up. I feel really good. You like feel... we did some damage. Some good damage. Would today would be a good one for you, or do you feel like you'd need to keep going to, to get a real good workout? I'm just used to like really high intensity, like dripping, just going all out, balls to the wall, but this was a lot more concentrated. I feel like I got like just as much damage though in the muscle that I wanted to, that we wanted to concentrate on. What do you think that is with, I know that this is a tough one, because you're still at that age. Right. Uh, especially to where I, I just want to fight every day. In the sense of like in the gym or in life. Where is it where you, where you separate the two, like we talked about, smarter not harder. And, and, and I know that we still need this battle. You're a born gladiator in a sense. But where is it that you separate coming in going, I need intensity, I need to be sweating, I need to crawl out of the gym, and only if this happens did I have a good workout. Relative to coming into the gym, Training it, hitting it, turn the fibers, and then leaving the gym. Where, where does that? I mean, I think as long as you're targeting the muscle that, or hitting the muscle that you want to target, uh, you're getting the damage. You're not hurting yourself in the process. You're training, like you said, smart and hard at the same time. Then, you know, either way you train, it's it's all beneficial to you. Uh, as long as you're doing it right, as long as you're doing it for for the right purpose, for the right, in the right ways, smart and hard. Yeah, just remember what I was saying about <laughs> coming in and you're sweating and you want to crawl out of the gym. Understand, that is how I still train and I wish I didn't as much, but there's that thing you said and it's like whatever you need, you need for you. And, and so for me, I need that battle. And most, majority of the time at four in the morning, I want to come in and just destroy it. Um, but it's for us, we love this time, this training time. Um, and again, it's always about getting better. But for you youngsters, if you can, and I know this is tough to do, come down just a little bit. You know, come down just a little bit if you can. Um, train hard, but walk out of the gym having a little bit something in the tank. I think that's especially for the athletic performance in the gym, right? I think that yeah, yeah, for the, if you're going to be an athlete, yeah. no question, you have to go yeah. until you're crawling out of the gym. Because what really made the difference for me when I look back, because I've been training for six years now, six and a half. Uh, if I wouldn't have trained like crazy, doing insane stuff, training six hours a day, I wouldn't have been able to build the mindset. Yeah. So I think it's important to train extremely hard and build balls first in a way, yeah? No, that's a good point. And, uh, and then train smart, yeah? Because if you don't know the other way, then uh, you won't see the difference and, the, and how your body actually benefits from it. You, you won't know have what that I mean? mentality, that, that barbarian mentality of just going, I want to be a beast. Yeah. And that's what I go back to the fight, is, is that we love, the, we love the fight and the battle of the gym uh, or in life. Except unless you're Mona. Oh. <laughs> nice. Better, better peaks than all of us. <laughs> Cut the video. We're done.